Hey everyone, Merrick here. We're back in the wonderful world of Beyond Soul, and we're gonna continue our dominance of our banana slug world. Um, you know, it's a sluggy slug world, and you gotta do the sluggy slug things. So that's what we're going to do. We're gonna bring out our ring of power and money a bit more, I think. Probably go ahead and throw down some radar stations there. We do have a little bit of a poo fest with our friends over here at the Himalayan League. I don't really give a shit. We're going to hop over here, though, and build ourselves a radar station if we have the stuff for it. Uh, we don't have the money. It's always about the money with you, isn't it, radar station? Isn't it? We'll sell some of that. We'll sell quite a bit of that. A little bit of that. A little bit of those. A little bit of that. Now I have the money, don't I? Yes, I do. Undock. Right? I do? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Oh, yeah, I've got way more money than I need for that. So let's jump over there and get that set up. So what's my goal after we get all of our territory locked down and... And happy the way I want it um expand I'm gonna try to upgrade uh, the command center I'm gonna upgrade so that I can get the big you know you can only have one of these because they're way too powerful for you ships those are my goals so I'm gonna probably look at trying to get the way too powerful for you ships sooner rather than later let's head over here and pick that up and then we'll put some radar stations there we are making 4200 credits a, a passage of time I think it's a minute 51% uh, terrorists because oh well we're making a lot because they feel safe which is great I'm happy they feel safe in my territory I'm happy to make them feel safe in my territory we'll keep it going um yeah, I definitely want bigger fleets. That's kind of my goal. The biggest of the fleets. Make everybody make everybody mine. Whatever that means. Alright, we'll get that comet mined out. We'll have some friends go around and pick up some stuff. I might bring a freighter along. Oh, that comet still had stuff in it. Alright. And, and have the freighter fly with us on these missions just to make a little extra room for for money because money is important right I think it is Ooh, hey, look at that oh no drones oh no there we go okay did we actually break up that asteroid or is it still pumping it might still be there it's it's still on the map which would be crazy if it is I think that's it though. Yeah, that's it. We're good. Alright, let's head over to this distress signal and make some money. Here we go. Alright. Yep, yeah, we'll, we'll get a, a huge boost in finances, fill out these two sectors here, then work on these over here. And then, you know, we've just got to upgrade as much as we can. Uh, we got ourselves a clipper here. You know what? You're no longer faster than me. And dead. Yeah, I'm happy with the change that I made, I think. Just having this kind of mix of ships is nice. The energy is a bit of a problem, but we can handle that. Yeah, we're definitely having an easier time eliminating people. Alright, oh, there's another distress signal right over there. We'll go ahead and take care of that, because hey, more money, more pr more problems? No, that's not the way that works. It's more money, less, um, shut up. <laughs> So I've got 32,000 credits, um, probably going to need a couple hundred thousand to upgrade to level three corporations. Really? There's only two? Um, okay. 
Well, let's go play with this guy. And... Go ahead and missile him up the butt, and dead. You gave me 3,700 credits for that. Oh! Somebody went level 2. Alright. I think that might be our friends. Did they go level 2? I think they did. Let's see, did anybody else just explode in size? You did. But... I don't know. I think it was our Himalayan League. They're coming, coming a bit of a problem for us. Gonna have to eliminate them soon. Oh, we're full up on there. Yeah, we definitely need to fix our storage. Too. But we could do a lot of selling and and work our way around that one quite nicely, I think. Let's go ahead and head over there. Get our radar station built. And radar station. Okay. We have the people for one more radar station, so we'll jump over there. And let's go ahead and clear these off while we wait. No, 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 no. Don't go way out off the map. I don't even know what happens if you do that. Come on, turn around. Turn around, turn around. Blah, 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 blah. Everybody knows that song, right? Yeah. Ooh, we almost hit it directly on. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Okay. Now we head this way. And do some work on our city. Cause that, does that take three? Oh, it only takes three? We'll put another one down. If it only takes three, I can afford to upgrade other parts of the city, like power and pop. And then we can do the the whole city thing. Ooh, there's a distress signal. Ah, it's a little far away from me. Good luck, guys. I'm not jumping over there. Got a little bit of a framey going on. Not sure what's up with that. Mm, seems okay. We'll deal with it. And click. Alright. Now we're making 5,900 credits. That's tasty. That's very, very tasty. Alright, we'll fly over here and start doing some city management. But ultimately, we're doing pretty good on money, and that's that's just lovely. Money is good. Alright, so we want to upgrade um, our fleet control. We want to upgrade... No, Doc. We want to upgrade our... Um, corporations population center 3 extra corporation so we don't have any upgrades on our corpse all right um let's see do we want to upgrade storage i think we do all right so we have money we don't have the pop for it but we can go ahead and do that uh population center need 5000 credits well guess what i've got stuff to sell um, sell, sell, sell everything that's in my cargo hold here, there we go, upgrade you, done, so how much do we need to upgrade you? Alright, how much do I need to upgrade you? Um, you only need titanium and some cash? I can handle that. Let's do titanium, titanium. Okay, and you need palladium and osmium titanium, so we can sell um, just about everything else. We'll sell some of that. We'll sell quite a bit of that. And some iridium. Alright, Exeter Corp 2. Exeter Corp 3 is going to cost 25,000 more credits and a lot more stuff. So let's sell the thorium. Let's see, do we need palladium for that? We do. So we won't touch that, we won't touch osmium, we won't touch titanium. But we can sell that. Alright, you need more stuff than I'm willing to put into it. So what did that give us? Like, what do we get with that? Um, we don't have any reserve ships here either. 
Uh, oh yes. Uh, no standard weapons equipped with a sophisticated point defense system destroys incoming missiles. But this is what we're working towards. Um, that's going to be great. Let's go to loadout. Um, I can upgrade my point defense system, which I will probably do. Uh, I don't have that equipped. And do I get any new ships? No. No new ships. Well, that sucks. But that's okay. We can we can handle that. What do we have equipped? Enhanced shield generator. Enhanced engines. That's weapons power. Let's see. Gives us... Increases our energy rate charge and lowers weapon cooldown. That could be useful. And fleet command, which requires Cryos Corporation 3. Well, I've got not Cryos Corp 3, but I have Executor Corp. So we'll go ahead and upgrade that. And then we'll work on getting Cryos to Corp 3 to upgrade that. So I guess I really just need to upgrade all of them, don't I? Yes, I do. All right. Well, um, power is a problem, but we aren't going to be able to do anything about that for a while. Let's see. What can we get in the middle of? We can get in the middle of that, and we're just going to make money. Five thousand credits a, a thingy, and so we'll just continue making money. We're going to have some more border tensions with the Himalayan League as they come in because I'm gonna go there and put down a radar station because I don't want to have them hanging around alright and dead and is he dead? nope he is okay that guy's dead So we're friends now, right? Oh, it was the multipliers. Alright, yeah, I, I had no problem with the multipliers. We'll probably go south to them sometime soon. And there should be one more wreckage over here that I haven't gotten already. Uh, maybe I have. Yeah, it looks like I have. Okay, we actually had a ship get injured. Wow. Wow, what do you know? An injury. Well, we're gonna just go ahead and jump straight over to there, claim that territory before they get it. Um, can't have them having things that I want. So, there you go. They do have a military base there, so we're gonna have to deal with that. I see we, we put this military, or this radar station down, then we fly over here and trade with them just to offset the border tension a little bit longer. Ooh, a distress signal. Mmm. Control center upgraded. Good job, Petrimony. Good job. You're gonna be going to war with the uh, Siberia League, aren't you? Yes, you are. All right. So we have enough to build, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, that didn't take any power. We're good. We're good. We could fart out two more radio radio stations radar stations no problem and yep yeah, there we go let's jump over here take care of that and then we'll do our trading with them thing but we're going to be going to war with them relatively soon I think I don't see how we can keep these border tensions going without having some sort of conflict arising from it so we want to save some money for that um, we could preemptively go to war with them. Mm, yeah, we could definitely do that, actually. We may want to do that. Alright. Let's actually fly in there. Let's go take on this gunboat. They're fun. They're slow. And... Wow, he's a little chunkier than I remember him being, but he's still dead. Alright guys, stop getting injured. This does not bode well for our war that's coming. Thank you. Maybe I need to upgrade my ships a little bit. 
There we go. Merchants feel safe. We'll fly over here and do some trading with him. So those guys get docked. They should be docking right now. Okay. So we, we can handle them, I think. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. I'm not sure. Um... We'll see. We'll probably declare war on them soonish if they don't declare first. And we'll just start by probably going for their mining stations, trying to draw out their fleets and seeing what we can do about damaging their fleets more than anything. Like after we trade, we'll probably scout this mi this military station out. We definitely don't have a huge fleet. They've got a 17 strength fleet to our very much not a 17 strength fleet. So we've got to we got to keep an eye on that. All right, let's go ahead and repair, and we're gonna do some trading. Um, trade, 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 trade. See, guys, you love me. Let's go to loadout and see what we can do over here. Mm, what are your corporations at? What are your corporations at? You've got Exeter Corp 2. Um, let's see, that's a population center. That's a commercial center, level 3. Look at all these guns that you have, though. My, my. Small hangar, small hangar. So you got decent fleet size. Um, lots more storage, and only one corporation? Really? That can't be true. Uh, let's go to fleet. Yeah, you've only got one corporation. I mean, you're level three at this corporation, or level two at the corporation, but... Mmm. It's not great, is it? Alright. Well, I don't really think I have anything to trade with you. Uh, I am going to probably steal your idea and put another um, hangar down at home in order to prep a little bit. Up my fleet strength. His fleet strength is only one larger than mine, so I mean, I think we're we're you know well balanced. We're gonna fly by this thing real quick and see what's going on. Scout it out a little bit. Alright, what kind of fleet are we looking at here? 24, that's more like it. So he's got a decently strength fleet over there of the little shooty ships. These guys. No, not the phantoms. Yeah, the phantoms. The ones that shoot the lasers and are fast and gang up on you. So we probably want to mimic that as best we can. Uh, the slower ships are definitely going to be at a huge disadvantage in any kind of combat because they will basically just swarm and kill it. We've seen that before. We probably want to avoid that this time. So we'll figure out how to do that. Alright. Now we prepare for war. They really don't have the money that I have though. So their, their money generation is definitely an impaired and I think that gives me an advantage but also gives them more targets so we gotta keep that in mind how much money do I have? I have 46,000 there's a distress signal let's go ahead and do the distress signal get a little bit more cash for our pending upgrades changes and finaglings how are we doing you guys still happy yeah we're still neutral we traded with them to buy us a little bit more time. And that's all it was. It was just an attempt to buy more time. Because that was a very mild trade for us. Ooh, a pirate bounty. That's plenty of cash, too. This is only two ships. Yeah, we'll do that pirate bounty. No problem. And... There we go through his shields and 
dead. And that gunboat is destroyed. Didn't mean to shoot at the dead gunboat, but I did. It's okay. And they're on their way home. We'll head over there and eliminate them. Here we go. Fantastic. Clear that out. Clear that out. Clear that out. And clear that out. So we should be making like almost 5,000 again. Crap. Crappy crap crap crap. Thought we'd be making more. Apparently, uh, we're just not. That's okay. We'll get there. We'll head the, handle that distress signal in a little bit. And then we'll go and do base management. Alright, so there's the guy we want. Go ahead and kill him off. Yeah, you probably shouldn't have been a pirate in my territory, friend. 7,000 credits. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Lots of missiles. Lots of death. No damage to my ships. Beautiful. And distress signal. And then we'll wrap it up. Not the episode, the, the flying bit. Level 1. Level 2. Op 126, Fleet 16, Zero Reserve, War None, Alliance None, Trade Treaty None, and it's owned. Um, they're an economic personality who's going to be going to war soon, I think. We could probably boost up our war score by quite a bit if we are smart and just oh, drop a piece of candy. If we're smart and just ravage their little areas out here outside of their military range I think that'll be what I do is I just kind of pick apart these things out here and take out their main fleet as much as I can All right, and we need some help and the weapons blah 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 Oh little striker man You're so cute and dead There we go We'll probably get the weapons upgrade too. Better power, you know, more damage. Can't be a bad thing, right? Oh, is that all of them, really? Already? Oh, okay. Yay! And we'll swing around like this. Pick those bad boys up and head on home! That was 3,600 credits that were very easily earned. Back on the, the top shit list for, you know, safest place to travel, I guess. I'll take it. Yeah. I'll take it, no problem. Alright, so what are we going to upgrade? I don't know. We gotta get our power sorted, that's one thing. We could probably just build a power plant and benefit greatly from that. Um, so let's let's take a look at that. Build a power plant right there. Build a hangar right there. Build a pop center right there. Let me think of a shield generator there. We don't have a lot of guns. That'll be okay. We got plenty of people in power now. Um, we'll upgrade that, and now we can up our fleet. Uh, let's bring one of those guys. I haven't seen him in action. I think that could be fun. And we want more um, shooty guys, right? Let's see, skirmishes, weak defenses, can harass any vessels from safe distance. See, vessel designed for speed and aggression with low hull and shield strength must obliterate its target by approaching quickly and firing short range volley of rockets. I don't want those guys. So let's, uh. Oh. Let's take him out and bring on a couple more of these guys. Let's go like that. Let's see how that works for us. 
And what are we doing with money? We've got some. We could upgrade Cryos Core level 2. We get 8,000 credits and upgrade to Executor Core level 3, and I think I like that idea better. So let's go ahead and sell some stuff. Okay, 2,000 more credits. Titanium, Palladium, we can sell Thorium. I like selling Thorium. That's 51 credits. Let's sell some Iridium. Cryos Core, level 3! I need power and pop. Really badly. But point defense can be upgraded. And... Let's go to fleet real quick. We now have this... A large slow battleship sacrifice some defenses for long-range powerful torpedoes can obliterate enemy shields in seconds. So we have basically, you know, a shield breaker, which is great. Need 5,000 credits for that and upgrade that. We need 7,000. So we need money now. Just lots and lots of money. What do we need to upgrade you? Titanium and thorium. So we can sell palladium as long as you don't need it. You don't. Palladium sold. 3,000 more credits. Um, uranium sold. Done. And power is 9,000 credits. Titanium and thorium. So, osmium sold. Iridium sold. 3,000 more credits. Um, how much do you need? 20 of each? We could sell quite a bit of thorium then. A little bit of titanium. Problem solved. Alright. Now let's go test out our new fleet con uh, configuration and see what's going on with it. Oh, that's a mess. That's a messy mess. Definitely need to do some some maintenance, but we need to make some money before we can do that. So let's go over here and make some money. Don't want to go to war with you guys just yet. Stay happy. Stay peaceful. Alright, here's a clipper. And... Come on. There we go. Um, did not turn fast enough for that one, but that's okay. There's the last one. Definitely like hearing all the pew pew that we've got going on. I think that's that's good. Alright, got 3600 credits, which will be super useful in the uh, in expansion of my empire. Go. So we have a 600 storage cap, which is really nice. And on top of that, we have 4,900 credits, which is nice. Um, I do need to get power and people up a lot more before I can start um, really making any more progress. So, like, upgrading that would be a good idea. And then. Upgrading all these level 2s would be a great idea. So we need 30 more titanium and iridium, basically. Let's go ahead and see if we can't buy that then. Uh, 25 titanium, 25 iridium, and we need 23 more iridium. I think I might have sold on accident, but I sure as hell don't have the money for it. Let's sell the osmium, let's sell the palladium, let's sell the thorium, let's sell the uranium. Yay! Alright, buy 25 of that. Now do I have it? Yep, all I need is is money. Money and pop is sorted. So we can, we can go, we can go make money. Money's makeable. Let's take out this pirate bounty. Ooh, let's do this distress signal and then the pirate bounty. It's a much better way to handle that. 
Why? Because clearing out the distress signal before the pirate bounty means that I actually get to have the benefit of the merchant loving while killing the pirate. And that gives me more time with it. And that's great, because more time with money means more money. Right? Right. I am answering my own question. Yeah. <laughs> So it might be time to upgrade our um, refineries to level 2. Just because, holy crap, there's a lot of them. Just because, you know, it might be useful to have a lot more production with the storage that we have. Oh, well, you get to eat that thing. Up, swung way too wide, wasted a bit of it. They are taking quite a bit more damage than I would like. Okay, that frickin' is almost dead. Yeah, missile cruisers just can't pull their own weight. So, I might just go with a full striker force instead of missile cruisers. Oh, look at that. Himalayan League lights me even more now. That's beautiful. Okay, you're coming in. We're jumping out. You better get ready for another fight. I think I'm going to be replacing that with another one of these little laser dudes. Yeah, we're going to go full fleet of laser dudes and point defense drones. Um, it looks like that event might have ended on me. We might be able to get it if we get there in time, but I have my doubts. A lot of mess on the screen. But the Himalayan League is still bigger than us. I just don't think they have the finances that we do. Maybe. I don't know. I'm really worried about it. They only have one military base. But they have a large fleet at the military base. They have full 24 point worth of ships at the military base. So if we attack that, we better be ready for a fight. Okay, there's that. There's a pirate striker there. And he's dead. Oh, there he is. There he is. Hey buddy, I was hoping I didn't miss you. And I still claim the bounty. And Monoplier is the one that paid it. Nice. Alright, is his ship toast? Did we salvage it all? We did. Um, distress signal is over there. Yeah, we're close enough. We do need to repair our friend, but he can wait. He can wait till after this distress signal, and then we'll repair him up, and that will be that. And that's actually kind of exciting that it's that, because this is a great episode. A great, great episode indeed. Okay, there we are. Bunch of rocks causing the game to lag. I have no idea why I'm getting this lag. I think I need to restart um, the computer for this game, but none of the other games that I'm playing are lagging, so I have no idea. None whatsoever. Yeah, there we are. If you enjoy it, I surely hope so, friend. Whatever it was, I hope it was worth it. Because you're done messed up now. Okay, there we go. And missiles can never hit me. Not only do I have point defense, but my people have point defense flying around them now. Uh, yeah, I, I don't want to go to it, but it's so close, I kind of have to, you know? You're just drawing, drawing me further and further away. How are you guys doing? You still pissed? Nope. Came to your aid. Still neutral. They're going to be pissed soon, though. Alright, we are leaving after this one. I've said it. We're there. Let's go ahead and play with this clipper. Here he comes. And there he goes. Yeah, 
And that guy's dead. And that guy's super dead. He didn't even have a chance. And there we go. Alright, that should be everybody. It is headed home. Woohoo! Good day's work. Back up to 48,000 credits. Made the merchants feel good about themselves. I am a hero. And this guy is a zero. I'm, be I'm just going to strip away his territory. I'm not going to wipe him out like we did in the uh, Good Monday Let's Play because... Um, it just, it, it costs, it causes issues. Everybody hates you for so long. Um, I would be pretty much free and clear to do that because there wouldn't be anybody touching my territory. But maybe I don't want to. Maybe I want to have a friend hanging out. And yeah, we're doing another distress call. I know. I know what I said. I just, I love this game so much. It's so fun. Oh, it's dead already. Don't even know how dead you are. There's that one. And there's that one. 3600 credits. Merchants feel safe. And everybody aboard? No, but you'll catch up when I stop. And 4,900 credits. A little sticky mark. I wonder if it maxes out. Like, you can only have so much, of, so much of that stacked up at one time. Probably so. You probably max out at a certain amount. Which is fine. Um, for our future expansions, we'll be hitting these two territories up with radar dishes. These will be done later after our war with them so they don't get destroyed and I have to deal with losing that territory. Uh, I'm not doing that distress signal, especially since it's not in my territory. Where the hell is it, anyways? Oh, it's over there. Yeah, definitely not digging around with that. That's way too far away. Let's spend that 92 credits to, to fix our friend here. Let's drop him in reserves. Drop him in reserves. Go back to Cryos, buy another one, buy another one so that we have a replacement. We're going full shooty beamy. Full shooty beamy. Yeah. We can upgrade these? <gasps> Ooh. I'm going to upgrade him. Oh, I'm going to upgrade him again. Oh, I don't have enough money. How much money do I need? 5,000 credits? I can get that. You watch me. Uh, sell, 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 sell. Fleet. Upgraded. Yes. Level 3. That means these bastards are flying around with 80 hull, 160 shield, 4.5 DPS. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's nice. Um, Don't have any money for any other upgrades right now, but that's okay. That I think that was worth it. Our next goal is to upgrade that bad boy to its final level. Which we'll do. We'll do in the next episode probably. It's only 57,000 credits. I can get all the titanium, palladium, and osmium we need. In fact, let's go ahead and buy all the um, titanium that we need for that. Ooh, wait, I should probably upgrade these first, huh? Yeah. Let's see, I need 40 iridium, 40 titanium. So I can sell some palladium. I could sell some osmium. Could sell some uranium. Damn. Uh, thorium. Palladium. There we go. Now we got population for it. So I need how much titanium? 160 titanium. So I need 36 more titanium. Um, we can buy 10, up. Oh, we can buy 10 more. Not even a full 10. So we'll just have to sell everything that's not palladium or osmium to make room for our upgrades. So iridium goes, thorium goes, uranium goes. I need 20 more palladium. Up, oh, city's hostile. There we go. 
Uh, that's 20 more titanium, right? So now we have all the titanium we need. 120 of the rest. So bye 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 bye. Bye 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 bye. Don't have any money left. Alright, these guys are pissed at me. Wait. Who's hostile? <gasps> you sons of bitches! They did it! They brought in a city right next to me. Well, that's going to be fun in the next episode, because I am going to wipe them out. Um, actually, I'm just going to quarantine them by taking all their territory from them and surrounding them with uh, satellite dishes. So they can't do anything, and they're just mad until they, they give up and leave. Well, that sucks. Um, that's my own fault for not taking that territory, I guess. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, leave a like. If you have any comments, suggestions, throw them in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this and you haven't subscribed, consider clicking that good old subscribe button and YouTube will let you know when I get fresh content out. All that being said, I'll see you awesome people next time. I think this ship could be really dangerous with a nice little, um, recharger ship following it around. Oh, come on with the distress signals. I'm trying to wrap this episode up. You know I gotta make that money. Alright, well we'll go do that one.